today, we're going to open Dimension Force. Let me tell you guys how much it sucks to live in Texas and find out that you have a flat tire and no car jack in 100 degree, degree weather. It's not something I would like to repeat again, but here we are. Today, we have some stuff from Heart of the Pack. He had some mystery packs going on. It was a bundle of, of, um, oh man, just an assortment of booster packs. And I always love supporting the homie. And uh, this is some of the things we got. Heart of the Pack's uh, mystery pack. We got Chevalier, Pure Light. And they were all sealed packs. Uh, he just opened them on stream. Uh, Georges. With the Vanisher. Uh, yeah. Some fun stuff. Didn't get anything absolutely spectacular. But we did get some fun shiny stuff for the binders. Uh, dimensional Force. Uh, dimensional Fissure. It's not too bad. Macrocosmos is going to go good in the uh, in the stuff that's coming out in Abyss Rising. That's one that's already been out. Abyss, Revenge of the Abyss. No, I forgot. I forgot right now. It's too late. It is way too late. Been one hell of a day. So we're gonna look at some shiny, beautiful cards and enjoy some dopamine. World Legacy Monstrosity, Black Sonic, that one came with like scratches and print lines fresh out the pack, that's kind of sad, Breed Raptor Bloom Vulture, Altergeist Hextia, Metal Tronus, Gold Pride Eliminator, Dandy White Lion, that's cute. Embers of the Ashend. Supreme King Zark. Synchro Universe. There's even a Numbers Hunter pack in here at some point, I believe. We got a Battle Warrior. We have a Blue Ultra Rare Curry Bandit. A Blue Letter Eye of Tamias. A Prismatic Ultimate Rare Solemn Judgment from Rarity 2. A Collector Rare friend, My Friend Pearly. Catapult Turtle from a Reprint Metal Raiders. And a Beautiful Priestess of the Ashen City that will go nicely. And my Ashen deck that I have. And I think he kind of felt bad for not pulling good stuff, and he sent these uh, Speed Duel Tournament packs. Um, you know what? Why not? Let's just open them right now. I have no idea what comes in these Speed Duel Tournament packs, so... Thank you. Part of the uh, pack? Oh, okay. So the Super is right on top. We have a Birthright. And a couple of commons. Yep. And that is so glossy. Speed Duel glossy. Uh, Speed Duel printing is very, very glossy shiny. Not bad. And an insect princess. Her shiny glory. Not bad. No love a golem. And a cosmic cyclone. Okay. Well, at least they're decent cards. Maybe not high rarity, but actually useful. And no, I did not change my tire in 100 degree weather. Luckily, I work right beside a Mexican restaurant called Rio Grande, and I had me a nice martini 
while I waited for the sun to go down. And my love was sweet enough to bring me a car jack to change my tire. Uh, but yeah, definitely did that after a drink. And uh, waited for the sun to go down because that was just ridiculous. Texas is not kinder in the summer, which typically extends sometimes into like September and October. But I've been joking about um, getting an entire master set of crimped Dimension Force because crimping is such a flagrant quality issue in Dimension Force. But I do have a crimped Starlight Ghost Bell. Actually, let me let me go grab it real quick. Now, if you are here and watching this because you are looking at this beautiful Starlight Ghost Bill and Haunted Mansion, uh, I got this off of Trixie's stream on Whatnot. And if you look, it's actually, I don't know if I can show it on here. There you go. It is crimped from the pack on the outer edge. Uh, a lot of people would consider that damaged. Some people would call that a misprint or a crimp. Either way, it is definitely unique and fun. And uh, let's see if we can get another crimp starlight. Actually, you'll be watching over this today. Uh, sorry for the bait, guys, but here we go. Let's see if we can pull another star starlight. Start with Battleguard Cadet, Parasomnia Pillow, Duke Yule, or Rock Medium, and Zombie Reborn for the first super. And this is the third box that I got for $18 out of a pull game. So regardless of what we pull here, it wasn't a big investment. So maybe we can actually profit. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> We're going to start off with a secret rare secret psychic and punisher. Another one that got a seven beautiful rarity upgrades and reprints in the rarity collection. I believe rarity collection two. And that's how we're going to start. Okay. Secret in the second pack. We got Devouring Sarcophagus. Would not work with the uh, illusionist stuff that's out right now. Divine Dragon Tenomica. Kia. Tetanomakia. Theory on Stand Up. Odd Eyes Wing Dragon. You know, I actually kind of enjoy doing late night openings. My partner is fast asleep. It's quiet. It's also not hot because it's late at night. It's not in the middle of the day. So I'm not sweating as I'm recording. Grotenku and Performa Pal Lady Ange. I don't think there was any branded cards in uh, Dimension Force, but I could be wrong. It was around the time that branded was out. VLAN Hydra, River Star, oh, and straight to the Weather Painter Moonbow. And Colonel on C string, obviously not G string, but. VLAN Hydra, 
Heroic Challenger Knuckle Sword, War of Rock Medium, Vivid Tail, and Scare Claw Sclash. Surprise Chain, Link to Rehire, Excavate top card of your deck equal to the chain link. Send top card. Draw one card. Nah. Not worth it. Try to plant Triantis. Mad Mauler. General Probe. Try uh, plant Biplisp, the weather forecast, light law medium, and retro pack two reprint in mini boxes is out at Walmart. So hopefully this week I'll be able to pick up some of those and we'll be able to open up a pack that I've never opened before, which is actually frighteningly a staggering amount of releases that I was never around for. So we got a lot of catching up to do. Divine Dragon, Therion Duke, Curse of Dragon, the Magical Dragon Knight. I hope everybody's having a good day today. And uh, hope nobody else got any flat tires backup team and if you did hopefully you have somebody in your life that can uh, come to the rescue when you need it theory on courage shout out to my sweetheart that uh luckily had her car jack in her trunk I had the piece to um, raise the jack but not the jack itself uh, apparently i took it out while i was installing my two 12 inch subwoofers into my trunk and forgot to put it back in at some point in time so now i got to scatter uh, scour through the wonderful mess that is the garage and see where i put my damn car jack Scareclaw Balloon, Metal Guard Cadet, Ichiroku's Ledger Book, Parasomnia Pillow, and Libromancer Fireburst. So we get two ultras and a secret out of one side. There's no way that there's like four ultras and two secrets, is there? Ten secret rare cards? No way. Huh, I guess so. Well, one of them is obviously Psychic and Punisher. Uh, Theory on Bullane. General Probe. Ambiguous Bugroth. Symphonic Warrior DJJ. And Heroic Envoy. Mad Mauler, Reverse Jar, Scareclaw Alternative, oh, and Sylvan Enspion. Enspione? Oh, there is branded stuff. Uh, stuff that nobody uses, but there's branded in here. Okay. Shout out to all my branded players. Rise up. Shout out in the comments. What's your favorite? archetype to play with and do any of y'all play locally do any of y'all go to regionals or YCS's uh, I don't compete at this time but there is a new according to Konami's website a new oh secret number two 
Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. Uh, there is now in Hutto a registered Konami uh, store. So hopefully they are use they are actually going to be running tournaments. And if they are, you might see your boy out there. Crow Tengu. I need to learn my branded deck anyway. I've been building it for like a year and a half, almost two years, and I still have yet to play anybody in person. War Rock Medium. Alsai the Ghost Stopper. I mean, uh, Michael, one of my clients, actually does uh, want to bring his deck with him while I do his hair uh, because we do fantasy color for, uh, color for him. We do a nice fade. Sometimes high, sometimes medium, sometimes low. And um, yeah, he gets uh, some fun splashes of fantasy color on top. And uh, next time he's in for his hair, we're supposed to throw down. Theory on Cross. Now, the funny thing about it is he has a group of friends that he plays uh, Domain, which is kind of like a commander format from uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, just a one of, of every card in your deck. And you have like a, a commander, you have like a, oh, I forgot what they call it in Yu-Gi-Oh or in Domain, but you have like a, oh, what was it in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series where Karibo was his uh, deck master? Uh, but yeah, you have like a, a primary card, like your commander, that you can summon and do fun stuff with. Uh, but that's typically what he plays, not a standard or modern format. So I wonder what he would cook up to contend with my fairly competitive, but not, uh, you know, world class or, um, oh, speaking, and speaking of Michael, he actually was thinking about making a Dynamorphia deck and I do have, I should have some stuff set aside for him. So if you're watching this, bro. I do have a, quite a few, a, a bit of a stack of Dynamorphia cards, if you want them. Uh, Scareclaw, Bellone, Bellone, Parasomnia Pillow, Red Plant Trientis, Devouring Sarcophagus, and Sarcophagus. Yeah. Libromancer realized. Therion, Ducual, Jade Curse, Predator uh, Predator Plant, Biblisp, Backup Team, Libromancer prevented. Another branded loss. Oop. Vivid Tail, Mad Mauler, General Probe, Crow Tengu, Motor Frenzy. Predator Plant, Triantis, Bull, General Probe, Ambiguous, Navy Dragon Mech. Theory on Stand Up, Divine Dragon. Gearclaw Alternative, Heroic Champion, and the Weather Forecast. There was a lot of uh, Weather Painter stuff in, was it Maximum Gold, El Dorado? Pretty, but once again, an archetype that really didn't do a whole lot, or did a lot, 
didn't do anything. I don't know, weird. I've played a couple of, um, against a couple of Weathercrafter decks, and it did a lot of stuff, but it didn't really do a lot. I don't know, it was weird. Symphonic Warrior, VLAN. And when I say I've played against stuff, that's uh, Master Duel, which, different ban list. Uh, so, oh, and there's Therion Disc Coliseum for what looks to be our last Ultra Rare. And last pack. Ice Jade Curse. Amphibious. Did I say ambiguous earlier? I probably did. Better plant. Ethereon. And Pasticiel. Not gonna say the last one. Coverture? Coverture. Coverture. Well, if you're still watching. Thanks, champ. I remember. You are loved. 